reassure is a financial services organization customer is at the heart of everything we do uh, so cloud is is seen as an enabler to provide an agile scalable and cost effective option uh, for all the appropriate workloads that we're looking at strategically around digital transformation uh, obviously that is that is aligned and joined up with our business priorities and what we need to deliver uh, for our end customer Hi everyone, my name is uh, Tyrone Phillip. I'm a senior network engineer. I've been working at Reassure for um, well, just just under three years now. We, we first discovered Aviatrix. Um, we started moving uh, some of our systems into the AWS cloud. One of the use cases was to um, being able to manage our egress traffic. Um, we, we tried it with the um, native AWS features, but basically you, you, you can't uh, manage the traffic that way. So we, we started looking into Aviatrix. To me, Aviatrix is like a um, Swiss army knife of um, cloud networking. I mean, we started off with one use case where we, where we needed um, egress filtering for um, one of our business un units in the cloud. And then, I mean, it, it, it just went from there. I mean, um, connectivity from on-premise into the cloud. Um, we were after a, a, a 10 gigabit link from on-premise into the cloud. Uh, Aviatrix was one of the only ones that was uh, offering that. Um, so yeah, helped us out with that. Aviatrix has been a massive lifesaver when it comes to um, multi-cloud um, networking, because as you can imagine, uh, AWS and for instance, Azure, they they work different in, in, in many ways. And um, with, with Aviatrix, it kind of gives you a common language between um, multi-cloud environments and Aviatrix covers all your um, root propagation. Yeah, the, the, the rest of the cloud team, they, they, they've been impressed as well by how, how quick it all fits together. I mean, in general, in the cloud, um, one of the best practices to uh, automate your, your infrastructure and um, yeah, one of the projects I've been involved in, um, we, we follow that best practice. And it, it was good to know that Aviatrix um, supports Terraform. So, um, so if you're looking into infrastructure, the code, Aviatrix is there for you as well. Initially, when we started our cloud journey, we were obviously uh, looking into establishing an interconnect uh, from on-premise into the cloud. So we, we, we've partnered with um, Megaport for for the underlay. Uh, I mean, for for AWS, you have got Direct Connect. Uh, you can go up to ten gigabit speed. Um, Direct Connect is a, it's a private link. It's, it's not encrypted. Um, one of the the business requirements for Reassure was to have that link uh, encrypted. So we looked at the the native solutions. For instance, for AWS, you limit it to one point two five gigabit VPN speed. Obviously, it wouldn't match the, the 10 gigabit underlay that we have. Um, and we discovered Aviatrix supports um, 10 gigabit VPN overlay. Um, yeah, and also also Azure as well. Uh, we have the same limitation there. Azure uses uh, Express Route for the underlay, but they have similar limitations when it comes to native VPN bandwidth. We, we've also got the uh, enterprise agreement model. So, um, I think that that is something that gives us a lot of agility now uh, because we, based on that node licensing structure, uh, as soon as we deploy any kind of Aviatrix footprint into a VPC or a VNet, we know we can we can ex expose more and more of those Aviatrix services. Um, so, you know, that that's a big, big benefit for us as well. From a, from a governance perspective, when working within the financial services sector itself, um, you know we're we're very highly regulated. So when we're we're looking at new products or looking at new uh, new supplies, it goes through uh, you know uh, stringent uh, you know stringent levels of of scrutiny. You know nothing is nothing is done lightly, and we we have to follow those those guidelines uh, to the letter. So as part of that, you know the you know Aviatrix is is looked at within all aspects from the uh, from reassurance perspective to make sure you know it is a it is a good fit for our organization um and going through that that you know that level of detail that level of scrutiny um you know we're we're setting all sorts of risks as, as part of that but yeah it, 
you know, we, uh, you know, I think we've, we've landed on a good partner with Aviatrix in terms of what we want to do with delivering uh, secure connectivity into the cloud and, and within cloud.